Welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are gonna explain modeling an RV of randomly distributed fiber reinforced composite. In this RV, fibers have random position and orientation, and we should have a plan to prevent fibers intersection. In the next video, we are gonna explain how to assign properties and orientation to the fibers. In the third video, basics of applying periodic boundary conditions to the RV will be explained. So keep watching to create the geometry of the RV in this video. The Python script was written to create an RV of short fiber composites. At the beginning of the code, we can find three useful functions. The first function checks the intersection between two circles. But why intersection between circles can help us? Consider two short fibers as two rectangles. We can investigate intersection by checking intersection between all lines and this is the best way. But for simplicity, we draw a circle around each fiber and then investigate intersection of circles. This way is much easier but decreases the maximum possible volume fraction in our model. The first function has three arguments. The first and second arguments are specifications of two fibers and the third is tolerance that is used in checking intersection. Each fiber list contains x and y coordinates of the fiber sensor, length of fiber, direction and width of the fiber. At first we extract the length of the first fiber from the list of specifications. Then the width is extracted in the next line. In the third line, we calculate the diameter of the circle around the fiber. Here is the exactly same procedure for the second fiber. In the next step, the distance between fiber's centers is calculated. The minimum possible distance without intersection based on the tolerance is put in mean this parameter. If the distance between centers was smaller than the mendes, there is no intersection. Otherwise, one of these fibers cannot be used in our model and the generated new fiber is ignored in the main coin. Finally, this function returns intersection, which is no or yes to the main coin. The next function investigates intersection between a fiber and a list of fibers. Arguments of this function are a specification of a fiber, a list of specifications of fibers, and tolerance. The intersect parameter shows that any kind of intersection exists between fibers or not. At first this parameter is no, and then intersection is checked for all the fibers and if any kind of intersection can be found, this parameter is changed to be yes. And finally, this function returns the intersect, which can be yes or no. The next helpful function is RAND function, which creates a random value between two desired real values. The arguments are two real values and this function using random function create a value between x1 and x2. The random function creates values between 0 and 1 and by this formula we can map the value between x1 and x2. In this part of the code we define specifications of the RVE. At first we enter the value of the width and height of the RVE here and then we define the width and maximum and minimum length of the fibers. The length of the fibers can be between these two values. Finally, we define the tolerance for intersection and also volume fraction of fibers in the composite. Now we have defined required functions and also specifications of the RVE. We start to generate some fibers. At the first step, we generate only one fiber as the first fiber. For a fiber, four parameters are totally random. The position of the center, which is represented by xc and yc, and then 
the length of the fiber is random and also its direction or orientation is a random value for creating the center of a fiber the value can be between borders of the rv but we add a distance from the border to prevent intersection between the fiber and the border in the left side we add this value which approximately prevents intersection and also we add this value to the right border similarly in the y direction we add some values to the bottom and up border of the rv to prevent intersection between fibers and borders for defining a random length for the fibers we create a random value between the minimum and maximum possible length of the fibers and finally we create an angle between 0 and pi which is a random angle for the fiber we have these four random values and put them in a list which is a specification of this fiber the list contains x coordinate and y coordinate of the center and then the length of the fiber the direction of the fiber and finally the width of the fiber which is constant in this code in the next line we calculate the volume fraction of this fiber for this purpose we multiply the width of the fiber by its length and then divide it by the total area of the RV. After creating the first fiber, we start to create enough fibers to reach to our desired volume fraction. In this while command, until our volume fraction is less than the desired volume fraction, we create a new fiber and check whether this fiber cut other fibers or not. If not, we add this fiber to a list of fibers and go ahead until we reach to the desired volume fraction. These four lines create a new center length and direction for a fiber and put these values in this list. In this line, we check whether this fiber has intersection with previously defined fibers or not and if there is no intersection we add this fiber to the fiber list and also add its volume fraction to the total volume fraction after this while command we have enough number of fibers with our desired volume fraction now we want to use the created fiber list and create the composite part in abacus environment we have these commands for creating a part in Abacus software which is a rectangle. At first let me show how we can obtain these commands. We want to obtain these commands which create a rectangular part in the Abacus part module. For this purpose we go to the part module and create a rectangle. The name is part 1 and the part is 2D planner deformable and we use shell and we create a rectangle from point 0, 0 to point 0.1 and 1. Here is the rectangle and we exit from the sketcher and this is our part. To find commands related to creating this rectangle, we should open the abacus.rpy file in the work directory of the software. I open this file and at the end of this file we can find commands related to creating a rectangle. We copy these commands and use them in our code. We have these commands but we only change the dimensions of the rectangle here from 1 by 1 to width of the composite and height of the composite. In the next step, we create fibers by partitioning the matrix. We can find the commands for partitioning in the same way. For this purpose, at first we partition the matrix by one rectangle consisting of four lines in the abacus software. Then we copy these commands from abacus.rpy file. To create all the fibers from fiber lens, we use a four body instead of lines which create a rectangle. For each fiber, we extract the location of its center and also its length and direction. After that, we calculate 
sine and cosine of the angle and also we have the width of the fiber knowing these parameters for each fiber we can calculate the location of each corner of the fiber we calculate location of four corners of the fiber and by line command we connect these points together now our code is complete and we can run it in Abacus software we set the volume fraction of the composite RBE to be 15% and run the code if you are interested in assigning material properties and orientation to the fibers and also applying periodic boundary condition to the RBE please watch our next videos I hope this video was helpful if so please let us know by a like a comment or a subscribe see you in next videos